Like my nose full? Or my mouth is full? My snoot. Snoot? Sch Schnauze is the mouth of an animal. It's so it's, I have my snoot. Snoot? I don't think that's an English word. Snoot? Snout? You no. meant snout. <laughs> So welcome back to my channel. Today we have Sven joining us today for a, another German type of video. Today's video, I don't know what I'm gonna call the title yet, but basically Sven is going to be saying a phrase in German and I have to kind of translate it into the English equivalent of that phrase. And yeah, I actually don't know any of the phrases that he's going to be giving me, so I'm kind of excited. Before we do jump into this video, please do subscribe to my channel as well as follow me on Instagram. Instagram. It really helps me out. And of course, I have to mention today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Invest in yourself and your personal growth. For me, my specific skill that I'm trying to improve on is obviously my video editing and my content creation. Skillshare is the perfect place to start from photography and illustration to graphic design, free freelancing and more, including content creation. You can find classes that will match your specific goals and interests. So right now I'm taking the class called Vlogging for Business, Build Your Brand with Video. And this is by Erin Winters. She's an entrepreneur and a YouTuber. And her class basically integrates you into getting in front of the camera, being yourself and making this not feel so intimidating and making it feel a little bit more natural. And since I am a YouTuber vlogger, mainly this class was super super helpful. So the first 1,000 people to use my code Zoe Marie will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. My link will also be in my description box. So I just want to say again a big big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So let's actually just jump right into the video. Maybe you can, do you have anything actually more to add about your phrases or what type of phrases are they gonna be? It's gonna be random phrases but German is crazy. Yeah everyone thinks German is a weird language. Let's see what you think about <laughs> it. Okay, so let's actually just jump right into it. Oh, let's start off easy. First phrase is Ich verstehe nur Bahnhof. <laughs> I know the direct translation, which is I understand only the bus uh, station. Train but it's station. A, train, oh yeah, train station, sorry. Does it mean like I only understand like this much? Like I can only understand so much? Almost. Basically, it means I understand nothing. I do oh. not understand a word at all. I don't know what you're saying. So, ich verstehe nur Bahnhof means I don't understand a thing that you're trying to tell me. Is that That's basically what it means. Yes. You can also say, ich verstehe nur Spanisch. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Nee. Oder? That's not the real phrase. I don't know. <laughs> Cut that okay. out. Next phrase is... <laughs> du gehst mir auf den Keks. Okay, nochmal. Du... Okay, you say it again, please. Du gehst mir auf den Keks. Du gehst mir auf den Keks. So I don't know what the word Keks means. So so you give me, go me from cake. <laughs> nochmal, say it again. I, don't, I actually don't understand that one. You're going on my cookie. You're going on my cookie. And cookie in German is... Keks. So basically, it means that you're annoying me. Equivalent would be you're going on my nerves. Oh, you're getting on my nerves. You're getting on my nerves. You can also say, du gehst mir auf die Nerven, but... But that makes more sense because I know that genervt, like this word, mm. means annoyed. Mm. So that makes more sense. But then when you add in the word cookie... Du gehst mir auf den Keks. Macht keinen Sinn. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Nächstes Sprichwort. Ich glaube, ich spinne. Ich glaube, ich spinne. Ich glaube, ich spinne. So, ich glaube, ich spinne, and I think I know this one. So, it means I believe I like spider, oder? or crazy. I believe I spider is the translation. Is it a direct translation? Yeah, direct. But I feel like I've heard this before, and it means that I feel like I'm going crazy, or I feel like I'm crazy, right? It's not referring to yourself, it's more referring to a story someone tells you. For example, your neighbor tells you the lady in town got her eighth kit, and you're going like, ich glaube, ich spinne. So, it's like, it's crazy. Yeah. If someone tells you a story and you think you're like, that's crazy. But direct translation is, I think a spider, which makes no sense. Okay. For people like me who is learning German, when you 
direct translated it actually translates to spider or it can translate to spin because spider and spin are the same word basically right basically. next one is das ist mir wurst das oder in schwäbisch ich mir wurst das, mir wurst. das ist mir wurst and wurst is like sausage mm -hmm. right is it like self-reflected like i am a sausage <laughs> like. Direct translation is this is sausage to me, this is my sausage. It basically only means I don't care. Really? Yeah, I don't care. And so how would you actually use that in a sentence? Like what situation would someone say this? It could be if you cross path the, the street on a red light and someone says, oh, there's a red light, you cannot cross path it. It's like, schmierwurst. Schmier doch egal. Schmierwurst. Oh, you don't care? I like, don't care. Why don't you just say, okay. I don't care. In English, we would say like, whatever, like whatever. Like whatever. that's a nice, easy thing. Like whatever, crossing the street anyways. But this whole sentence. I think that's basically Schwäbisch ist mir wurscht. In Hochdeutsch, you would say ist mir egal. I don't know if I described it in the beginning, but <laughs> Schwäbisch is a dialect spoken in Southern Germany. And this is also something that's quite complicated about Germany in general. It's because all over Germany, they're speaking different dialects. Like in the Berlin top area, they're speaking their own dialect. In Munich, right, they're speaking Bavarian, their own dialect. Mm. And down here, they're speaking Schwäbisch. And me personally, as a person who's trying to learn German, it's honestly like a whole other language. If I learned German in school, it's not the German that's being spoken outside and it's very, very, very difficult. Schwäbisch, Schwäbisch, what, which one's better? <laughs> Schwäbisch. So the Schwäbians, they always say everything with a sh, sh, sh. Das nächste Sprichwort heißt, ich hab die Schnauze voll. Direct translation is, I have um, like my nose full or my mouth is full. My snoot. Snoot? Sch Schnauze is the mouth of an animal. It's so it's I have my snoot. Snoot? I don't think that's an English word. Snoot? Snout? You yeah. meant snout? <laughs> this is, a, we need to do a video on you pronouncing English words. My interpretation of this is if I say I have my mouth full, I have nothing more to say, maybe? Basically, yeah. So how would you yeah. say that in like a German sentence? So it's more if you're angry with someone and you're done with it, or angry with something and you're done with it. So, for example, you do a task and you just don't get further, you get frustrated, and then after a while you're just like, ah, I have to schnauze voll here. Okay, and you just like close your book and yeah, throw you it to the... Yeah, you close your book and you're done. I think mostly work-related. You're like, die schnauze voll vor dem Scheiß. Vor dem Scheiß? PGA 16. PGA 16? Oh. Oh, PG? PG 13 is what you meant. Yeah, PG 16. PG 13. Is there no 16? There is no 16. Is no 18? No, it's just PG 13, then R rated. Another one is. Du bist ein Korinthenkacker. Du bist ein was? Korinthenkacker. Du bist ein Korinthenkacker. No curse words. I know what means. <laughs> Du it's, it's no cursing. Okay, so nochmal? Du bist ein Korinthenkacker. Du bist ein Korinthenkacker. Korinking. Korinthenkacker. Du bist ein Korinthenkacker. Korinthenkacker. <laughs> Korinthenkacker. <laughs> we will leave it there. Yeah, okay, I won't, I won't try anymore. I don't know what that means. So direct translation means you shit currents. Currents in like raisins. All it means is that you're really detail-y and it's really annoying about you, like, uh -huh. care about every cent. It's like, you borrow me two euros, or two euro ten, and I give you back two euros, and you're like, oh, you still owe me ten cents. Mm. It's like, oh, you're a Korinthen kaka. A word that I would say for this person in English is like a nitpicker, yeah, it's the, or yeah, nitpicker. someone who's stingy. Ich bin fix und fertig. So, the direct translation is, I am fix and finished. So I would interpret this as like, I'm done, like I, I can't do any more, I'm exhausted. That's basically it. You know, after a hard workout or a long day at work, you just come home and you're like, oh, I've been fix and fertig. Or dads say that after they do some garden work. <laughs> dads. <laughs> you spoke with your eyebrows. <laughs> so last but not least of German phrases is, ich glaub mein Schwein pfeift. Ich glaub mein Schwein pfeift. Mm -hmm. Fived. Mm -hmm. I believe my pig fived. So I believe my pig something. Screams? Whistles. I whistles. think my pig whistles. And I think this means you're lying. I think we have a saying like this. It's like when pigs fly. If someone is saying something like, oh, aliens are gonna come here tomorrow. Like they're gonna land here tomorrow. You're gonna be like, okay, like sure. When pigs fly. Like no. it's something that's not true. 
No, I'm sorry. That's not it. It's mostly when someone tells you a story and you're like surprised by the story or even or oh, okay. by the content or even shocked. It's not like if something is unbelievable. It's more like if the if the story shocks you. If it's like a crazy story, you're like shocked. You're like, ich glaub mein Schwein pfeift. She did it again. She plagued out again. Three top three weekends in a row. Ich glaub mein Schwein pfeift. Hm. Do people really say that? All right, so I think we've reached the end of the video. That was eight interesting phrases that I've never heard in German. If you actually know some English, you know, alternatives to the phrases, definitely put them in my comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was nice to see Sven again. I know he's been MIA from the vlogs. He's been MIA from the videos, but life has actually been quite busy, but I'm gonna try to, you know, like, grab him and involve him a little bit more in the videos just because it's fun for you guys and as well it's fun for me and i hope you guys are staying healthy and safe and i'll see you in another video